Hello there, my lovely Virgos. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to do your love reading uh, for all Virgos. This channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. These messages will be from the time you click on the video and moving forward into the month of August. All right, Virgo. So let's take a look and see what the love messages are. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. You can do there's three options. You can do a 30 minute phone call, one hour phone call, or two hours. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, hmm, very interesting. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Look at you showing up in your own reading. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you enjoy my videos, definitely hit subscribe. That just kind of gives me a sense that you're really digging the reading. <laughs> And you're really digging my channel. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. What? What? What the heck? All right. Let's see, Virgo. Let's get some love messages to see what the messages are here. Um, hmm. So there's Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Taurus, Capricorn. All right, if that resonates for you, awesome. If it doesn't, don't worry about it, okay? Um, let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for you. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Beautiful. Express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Hmm. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Listen, I just want to say, if you guys, like, if you're single and you're just like, okay, you want to meet somebody, let me give you a little moon pie advice. Don't seek it. Just stay in a position to attract what you want, to attract love, allow it to come to you. Because if you seek it, you'll never find it. Attract it. Okay? Be open, expressive with your emotions, your feelings, your positive love feelings, your romantic feelings, and stay in a place of passion, be happy, sing, listen to music, be joyous, be free, okay? And I feel like that really is just your, your love message at this time, right? Expressing your love, maybe you write songs or poems or, you know, you're, you're just, I just feel a really good positive vibe with you, Virgo, right now. Okay, the past situation, the star. So a sense of renewal and hope. Um, yes, there might have been a renewal or a reconnection with someone in the past that had a sense of hope. Okay, things were looking good. There might have been some healing. Um, you could have been connecting. You or another person could be in the public. Could have been in the public eye, um, but there was an in, uh, like an energy of um, putting healing energy and good watery, fluid, soft uh, vibes into a connection. Maybe you and this person were both doing that at one point in the past. I'm going to get a clarifier here. Okay, two of pentacles. Okay, um, this feels like balancing things out between the two of you, like really trying to make something work in the past. You know, this, this guy, you know, um, he's kind of like a juggler, right? But it, it's a lot of work to stay very focused and keep those pentacles up in the air and doing it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So this card can be about um, two choices, multitasking or weighing options. And I feel like you both were really trying to keep a healing, balanced energy in the connection in the past, okay? The current energy, though, is the Ten of Wands. So a really heavy burden right now here. Feeling exhausted, uh, stressed, carrying... Um, it's just like a heavy load on this connection here in this relationship. The challenge, though, is whether or not to surrender and just leave the relationship, uh, hope for the best, or to hit rock bottom and just be done with it, okay? I'm not really sure. I'm going to pull a card to see. Well, it looked really good in the past, but something, yep, something happened. The Ten of Swords, again. 
something ended halfway between things going well and then what led to this ten of wands energy is the stress and exhaustion um or this heavy burden so it kind of feels like um something came crashing to an end okay i'm not exactly sure it might have been just uh a soul contract that completed and it just ended of its own volition but i i feel more so that somebody in particular ended something in the past let's see okay so the six of swords showed up in the reverse but then i flipped it over so i'm going to give you both um i feel like there was really a desire to make a transition and change and try like for two people to come together and you know really move things forward uh, maybe relocating or moving but it's kind of stalled it stalled i feel stagnancy okay something got stagnant and then something it seems like it ended um either one person did this or you both or just died out like the flame you know the candle the wick it, the flame just died out or something and i don't virgo it seems like you it seems like you're presently still kind of holding on and but you're struggling here and maybe you haven't accepted fully that something ended or that it's done or maybe you're having a hard time and you're still trying to carry the weight of the connection so i feel like the challenge is yours you know do you surrender and give it up i feel like this connection started out well but it was i was on the verge of collapse at some point and i feel like you know it here like in your subconscious you knew that somebody was maybe they ghosted you or you knew that someone wasn't going to be able to commit they may not have been capable um or had this person like too many options or commitment issues and for you it kind of turned into that as well i feel like maybe you ghosted someone and you in your head you're like not communicating you're self-reflecting right now what should you do should you keep carrying the burden or should you just quit and just be done just give it up it's hard for you to do this let's take a look at this hermit what are you reflecting on virgo right now yeah the eight of cups definitely temporarily separating and leaving things be and letting it go moving on at this time in your life okay um harsh energy for you virgo um because i feel like there was a lot of hope and there was a maybe even a promise or a sense of healing some of you you know you were hoping for a miracle some of you were actually uh you both were i feel though i feel like you both were hoping for some kind of miracle and it took a lot of work or was taking a lot of work to try to keep the the balls up in the air in this connection it was very focused energy but right now i, I kind of feel like like crowning down on you like spirit is saying this time withdraw re retreat maybe you were felt abandoned and you abandoned someone in return okay so what's coming up for you is you queen of pentacles energy okay what's coming forward is you getting yourself set straight okay here you are in your abundance being resourceful <laughs> focusing on your work a lot of you might be coping by focusing on your work okay um being very patient it's like you're kind of i see you going forward getting back to self okay you're being all about yourself recognizing paying attention to what you need to do to get yourself stable and grounded okay now maybe you ended this relationship 
because you just felt like it's just too much of a burden um, and it's just a matter of time before you completely give up. But I see you going forward. Yeah, very much focused, Eight of Pentacles, focusing on your craft, what you're building. Um, you're not even paying attention to love going forward at this time. You're looking at your money, you, you know, maybe it's a coping strategy for some of, some of you, but getting very like grounded with yourself, taking a look at things that are real and tangible, um, looking at your books, learning, maybe doing some studying. Um, because the eights are all about power, authority, strength, organization. You might be focusing on organizing your life, organizing your junk drawer, keeping yourself busy. This is about control and materialism, um, organizing, putting things in order is what I feel. Putting your life back together or putting your life in order. Okay, that's going to be the main focus for you. Oh, look, you've got the four of wands. So I feel like there's a lot to do here with family, um, maybe some kind of a celebration. You might be helping someone plan a wedding. Um, you're taking on some projects going forward um, or doing some helping around the house or doing some family things or just really like, but you're also Virgo, you're seeking, I don't want to say you're seeking. Um, I feel like some of you are going home. To, there's a reunion coming up here for you, though. And some of you are going to have a reunion with an earth sign, okay? Um, where there's an energy of the, putting the effort back in and uh, working towards commitment or marriage, okay? Uh, if you were involved with an earth sign, of course, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but this would be someone who comes in very solid and practical, someone who's like really willing to invest. Now, is that your past person? It could be, only because this is a card of reunion, all right? Um, so for some, at the end of August, towards the end of August, there could be a birthday thing. Somebody could be making something for you. Or if you're involved with, say, another Virgo, there could be a birthday thing happening. Okay, maybe you're making a birthday gift for someone. So the Ace of Cups is here. There's a new beginning in love. Now for others, no, I don't feel like it's somebody new. Sorry. I feel like this is, um, I know I say sorry. I know some of you do want your past person back, but others are like, no. So to those of you who say no, then I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, but that's what's coming up, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. So it's somebody from the past returning, and it's also an energy of you really digging into yourself. And some of you are going to go home or be with family, Okay, they're giving me a bunch of messages. This could be a, um, if you were in a marriage and you were in separation, you guys get back on track again. For others, you're going home and you're gonna find love at home. And I know some of you might already be at home. Okay, so there may be a new opportunity for love somewhere where you live, somewhere where near, near you, someone, who is willing to commit or is ready to commit and really put in the effort um, to do something here. Um, some of you just really start enjoying your employment and your life and your work. Okay, what's your advice? <laughs> You've got the Knight of Swords. So basically, your advice is to make a lifestyle change. That's, that's your advice, to go after what you want right now, Virgo. Make that your main focus, your priority. If you're single and on your own right now and you don't have anything else left to do but this, get to it. Make that lifestyle change, whatever areas, your money, your career, your home, rearrange, redecorate, um, get busy with life, get off the computer, <laughs> get busy with life, focus on the things that you need to do. Maybe you're going to move or relocate. If you're doing that, then do that. No matter what you do, 
there's definitely going to be uh, somebody coming back into your life. What you do with that is up to you. But your main priority and focus right now is yourself. And that is your advice to go after what you want and to communicate to the universe, to spirit. Like, don't just say, what do you want to give me? Say, hey, this is what I'm working towards. This is what I want. Please provide it so that I can keep moving forward. Okay. Now, this person... They're external to you. They have the Nine of Pentacles. So this person is single as a Pringle. And if they're coming back to you, um, they're coming back by themselves. Okay? But this person is like slow to have success, right? Um, and they're also very focused on you, Virgo, because this is the Virgo card. And this is the card about um, the Virgo who is very self-sufficient, uh, has financial gains this is somebody who um is like you're both kind of in solo mo mode and being very happy with your life okay um saving a lot of money this person is got a lot of money behind them they may have just bought a new home or they have money in the bank or they're they're putting their savings away but with this falcon i feel like they're gonna send you some kind of a message Let's take a look and see. Oh, temperance. This is all about timing. Um, patiently waiting. Remember I was saying this is somebody who's slow to move. There's a little snail down there. And uh, snails are very slow. Oh, no, the snail's right here. Snails are very slow. This person moves like a snail. Okay. They move... Like one step, like they move, the, there's rhythm. I've never looked at temperance with such Sagittarius energy. I've never looked at temperance and thought, ooh, rhythm. Um, but this person is not coming in to cause chaos um, or uh, disrupt anything in your life, whatever you have going on, okay? They're not coming in with excess. They're coming in very balanced and in control of themselves. Let's see what else. Okay, King of Cups. So that represents a person. So you could be connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or it not, it's just somebody here who's very supportive, tolerant, empathetic, nurturing, and healing. But the King of Cups does not, you know, he's very stable. He's on solid rock. And uh, he's on solid rock surrounded by all these emotions, but he maintains emotional control okay um he kind of wears like a poker face he doesn't really show his emotions this person could live at a beach or somewhere near where there's like rocks and cliffs he doesn't really show like he has deep emotions but he doesn't like he's not chaotic with his emotions okay he's pretty solid and stable all right, let me see something. Okay. And the Queen of Swords. So coming in with a very, that's air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, coming in with like some truth to communicate something to you. Um, whatever they come in to tell you will be the truth. Total honesty. Oh, Two of Cups person wants to well they may come in and say let's just be friends um or, and see where things go which that's kind of a bogus way of saying i'm really not interested um but they may also be coming in and trying to have like romantic relationship with you or um talk about marriage you know or partnership as well so your hopes and fears. I mean, you do have kind of a fear um, that there will be. All right, there's two things. First, I want to tell you, you're hoping this person will, is coming in if they ended the relationship or something ended and they're coming in because they regret what they did or they regret, they feel a sense of loss or their grief or are they, you know, they abandon you and, and you felt unloved but you're fearing 
that you're going to have all that. You're going to have this loss. Okay. Um, now, it's important for me to bring up the hopes and fears part. Absolutely. But I also feel like just remember hopes and fears. I mean, it's better to be in a place of hope than it is in a place of fear. Um, because fear is just going to keep you in a state of worry. Um, just stay hopeful, but stay grounded. Okay. So let's take a look at the outcome. So you've got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Okay. So if you're connecting, okay, first first thing I want to say, if you're connecting with an air sign, the air sign's contemplating is, is kind of, the, the air sign is kind of delaying things, waiting. It's in a very waiting energy. Waiting is not sure whether to fully invest or what happened or what have you, okay? Um, that's the outcome with an air sign. Now, if you're connecting with a fire sign, let's see what the outcome with the fire sign is. Okay, reunion. So there's a fire sign coming in here who definitely wants to get together. There's also water. The air is not so sure and the earth definitely. Okay, and I just want to split that down the board for you guys to have more clarity. And I'm talking sun signs. Okay. Um, so you don't get confused between, you know, the moon and Venus and all that. Now, I, let me see. What is this? I want to see what's in between these two. Okay. Knight of Wands. Hmm. So, Virgo, I will say with two people here in the outcome, there is a sense, like there's a very strong passion between you and another person. There's no doubt about that. This is that Knight of Wands energy. It's like, boom, activity. You know, this is like a lot of lust. Um, someone, like both of you kind of free-spirited in a lot of ways, different ways, but in a lot of ways. But I feel that you want a reunion with this person, they do too, but you're both hesitant in the outcome, okay? As far as, it feels mostly like travel. I don't know if you guys are far away. There's a lot going on in the world still. So that may be an issue if it's like you guys are far away from each other. But there's also like, you Virgo are are hesitant that's mostly what it what it feels like to me because I feel like you're fearful that you're going to be abandoned or that this person is going to leave you feeling sad okay that you're going to have these two cups with them what they're coming in with but it's going to turn into three spilled cups in other words that this reunion is going to be you know, like it won't work out. Okay. So I kind of feel like for you in the position of your advice right now, during this month of August, if you're making any changes in your life, your lifestyle, stay focused on that. Maybe your better health, changing things. Look, nine of pentacles again. This is how this person views you. And this is what they like a lot about you. You're independent, you're stable, you're capable of building your empire all on your own. You don't need them. And if you need to make changes in your life, you surely will do that. Okay. Um, keep that going. Don't stop for anybody or anything. Don't let anything stop you, Virgo, from what you are doing. Don't get distracted. The Knight of Swords does not ever get distracted. He may have a minute or two where he looks to the left or looks to the right, but he doesn't stay there. He gets right back on track, or she, depending on your <laughs> your sex, gets right back on track and, and stays in this position of self-reliance, okay? This is what is attractive to this person. Okay, um, I want to pull a card. 
I, I, you know what? I just kind of feel like Virgo. You don't have, don't worry about this relationship. Don't worry about making a decision whether or not you need to end it or not. Whatever that anybody else is doing, whatever another person is doing, because if you're worrying about that, then that means you're making that relationship your priority. Don't make it a priority. Make you a priority, and then everything else will just fall into place. That's how I feel. Whatever you're doing for you, because when you're making yourself a priority and building and you're, you know, you're happy and you're out dating or talking to other people, um, sometimes, sometimes you get to a place where you forget all about this relationship or you just don't want it anymore because you're fulfilling yourself. You're filling your life up with the things you love to do. You know, it's so funny, you guys. I just took up roller skating again, okay? And I didn't want to go into the roller rink because of, you know, what's going on in the world right now. And I thought maybe, and I just didn't want to follow my ass in front of other people as well because it's been a while. And when I was younger, I used to do jam skating, shuffle skating. Um, and so I, I said, okay, let me go find a place. So I found a road and it was quiet and I was skating and I did the whole road. And then when I got back home, I'm sorry, when I got back to my car, right when I got to my car, I slipped and my legs went out from under me and I landed on my butt and my elbow and I have like a huge gash here on my elbow and it's all swollen and I hit my head. And I thought, oh, I see what's going on here. I'm trying to do something here that I want to do. And as soon as I make a decision to do something for myself, and I know this happens to you guys, as soon as this happens, everything that could go wrong comes in to go wrong to stop me from being successful. This always happens. But my resolve and my resilience, because I'm also part Leo, is so strong that I said, no, you don't. Oh, no, no, no. I am skating, okay? And so I, like I, when I hit the ground, I had like maybe a 30 second wine session because it hurt. And then I said, all right, you're fine, get back up. So I got back up, got my skates off, got in my car. I decided that's not the place for me to skate and I found somewhere to go. And I found a basketball court. And so I was like, this is it, this is where I'm going. So I was skating around the basketball court. I got in a good full hour. I got back into practice doing this for myself. And then as soon as I got done, I went over, sat down, was taking my skates off and a bunch of like fifth grader or 11 year olds whatever came over to play basketball and they're on the court and then I got one of them missed the hoop and it hit me right in the face with a basketball you know how hard a basketball is so I got hit right in the jaw and I'm like busted and beat up and I said this is this is all this is it this is it I'm not going to be distracted I'm not going to let anything or anyone deter me from what I want to do because I want to join a, a skate team and I know for myself in order to get to that level I'm to climb this mountain again at my age is going to be tough but I don't care because I'm I'm persevering with this so when I was talking about distractions and it it wasn't about me because I already know that I need to do what I need to do but when I'm talking about that is like go for it whatever you're trying to do in your life do not let any past relationships that didn't work out or any traumas or anything like that deflect from your purpose and from what you are trying to achieve that right there i mean it's it's attractive to other people but don't do it for other people do it for you all right that was that was my little thing for you because i have a little extra time on this video so let's take a look and see what the love messages are here okay wow flipped out of nowhere obsession someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts so you do have someone here virgo who's pretty darn obsessed with you and i think it's because virgo you are the shiz you are all that you look great you feel great if you're not there yet you're on your way you're taking your you're doing your you're doing you and that's very attractive to people. You're an inspiration to people, Virgo. Um, whether you are a Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus, it does not matter. Whoever you are, it's not just one person either. 
there may be some other people around you. You're setting some kind of like standard in your life, Virgo, for you. Um, spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a lesson, spiritual lesson. And you know what, Virgo? You're also in them to teach them one. Maybe you're both still obsessed with each other, but you're not letting that obsession um, take away your plans or what you're doing with your life. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. There's definitely chemistry. There's definitely an attraction between the two of you. Here you go. Okay? Remember when I said, if you're looking for love, don't go out and seek love. Attract love right by being your best self living your best life doing your own thing that's how you attract the love when you're not seeking the love okay because i think your person might be doing their own thing as well um they're starting to understand this connection which is very beautiful they replay your conversations over and over and they can't stop thinking about you virgo <laughs> You know what, Virgo? I know some of you are like, I wonder if my person is thinking about me. Are they thinking about me? Well, as long as you're thinking about them, they're not thinking about you. That's how it works. But once you stop thinking about this person and then you get busy with your own life, nine times out of ten, that's when your somebody returns. Okay. Doesn't always happen that way. So, you know, but it's a good practice for you to make this something you tell yourself i can't stop thinking about me <laughs> it's time for you to get a little selfish or go and you know being selfish doesn't mean you're being mean it just means that you're focusing on yourself because if you're one of those virgos that likes to help other people and do things for other people well if the well is dry you can't give anything so you got to start filling that well back up again why am i shuffling this all right, let's go over to, because you know why, you guys? Because like I said, I, I had a phone call reading a couple of days ago. Um, Virginia, if you're listening, I never got my yo-yo, but we were talking. She's like, are you shuffling these cards while you're talking to me? I was like, oh my God, yeah, I can't stop. It's like, I'll go to my, I'll be at my family's house while I have dinner. And I'll break out like a regular 52 card deck. And I'm just they're like, why are we playing poker? I'm like, no, nah, I'm just shuffling. I have been shuffling for so long. It actually relaxes me. All right, let's get a charm. A couple of charms here. Okay, guess what? The Brontosaurus dinosaur is back. All right, so you could be, can, somebody you might know, or somebody here has a very long neck. <laughs> there's a long neck, or there's someone here who's like as old as a dinosaur. Maybe you're uh, your person, or maybe you feel like you're too old to start over that very well could be or somebody's watching a, do a documentary on dinosaurs or the ice age or you're involved in like environmental things um or somebody's watching jurassic park which you won't catch me watching that because i'm afraid of monsters um and then we have dolphins but they're in a yin yang um dolphins they represent protection Okay, but it also kind of looks like a heart a little bit. Um, you're both very protective of each other. I feel that. I don't know if you agree with that or not, but I do feel a very protective energy between two people. And then we also have, oh, oh my gosh. It's like a little guy. He's like a little ace of hearts. Okay, this is new love here. Wow. I guess it's like a little man and he's made, he's got a heart, ace of heart card on him. Maybe it's not something from Alice in Wonderland. Maybe somebody's name is Alice or you're watching that. I don't remember that movie and the characters, but I just remember kind of seeing something like that. Um, but this is kind of like somebody is showing up here with this, with this ace of cups ace of hearts energy in your life could be a new baby or relationship there could be a proposal or marriage coming in for you now we're not seeing um i'm not seeing well kind of two of cups is here can be marriage um 
you're you're very protected you're very well protected virgo whatever's going on try not to worry too much about things oh and now we have a doggy bone all right some of you your dog he's dying for a bone and some of you are um, working on your health and fitness and you're starting to see your bones showing through <laughs> i just heard that and uh you know that's great that's what you're trying to achieve make sure you're not too much you know make sure that you're also stimulating your muscles as well are somebody's eating meat off the bone at this time you're having your dinner or you're listening maybe you're having some meat if you're not a vegan you're doing the meat thing oh look camera's back again the other the other day I did the reading did anybody listen to that Def Leppard song photograph I went and listened to that boy it brought back memories um, I think I was in eighth grade when that song came out um, but this camera here some of you are looking really good and you're posting your photos you're taking selfies or you're putting them up somewhere or you're starting a new project or getting into photography or, bec or you already are and you're out there taking pictures of um maybe sea life or animals. I mean, I don't think you're taking pictures of dinosaurs, but some of you found a really old camera from somewhere, very old. And I'm not talking like the 90s, I'm talking like maybe the 40s or, you know, whenever cameras came out from that time moving forward. I don't know camera history. So yeah, very interesting. You may also be posing for photos. Maybe you're doing, look at, because with this nine of pentacles, like this looks like someone who's posing for nice photos or is very like, uh, or maybe you're taking photos of models or things like that, or you are one. I mean, all Virgos are the, Virgos are the most beautiful for the females the most beautiful sign in the zodiac because they're the only um, zodiac sign out of the 12 that's a female, okay? And if you're a male, that doesn't mean you're a female, but it means you're um, very real and, and very attractive, okay? Virgos are very attractive. There's something very alluring and mysterious about Virgos and they don't try to be that way it's just their nature and they just attract people by their quietness now i know some of you virgos are past the stage of quiet and you're like loud and, and that kind of thing but there's still something hidden within and that's why i can't remember for sure but i whenever i see the high priestess i always think of of virgo i always think virgo is just she's quiet mysterious she's magical she's very wise um and she keeps her secrets she's got the keys uh she's the only one that has the keys to understanding things virgo i think the high priestess in um the constellation um, represents the Virgin Mary as well. So there's a lot of miracles with her. Virgo creates miracles. She really does. So, and he. So please don't get offended. Majority of people on my channel here are female. So, yeah, that was a nice reading. Virgo, I'm going to leave that there for you. I wish you all the best. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And please know to do personal readings with me, I do the readings, but I also add a touch of common sense to the readings. So it's not all always going to to be um you know energetic things a lot of times it's you know i could tell you you're connecting with someone energetically but you know if you tell me somebody's abusing you or is ghosting you we're not going to talk tarot we're going to talk hey it's time to move on so just remember that coming in when you request a reading from me because i i care about your mental side and your sanity and i can understand sometimes that tarot card readings you know i could tell you oh yeah you're going to reunite but if you are telling me that this person is a cheater and a liar you know and they're abusing your dog you know sorry 
But the Virgo in me is going to say, okay, yeah, you're going to reunite. But if they come along and you guys meet up, you need to like break this person's legs and get out, right? So just so you know that going forward. All right. See you guys later. Love you. Bye.